Alright, today I need to rebuild my coil. And I know there's a lot of other videos out there, but I've noticed that they don't show this one step. Let me grab a cup of coffee and I'll be right with you. Okay, in case you haven't done this before, I'll point out the things that you will need for this. You'll need some canthal wire. I ordered mine from eBay and I got a hundred foot roll for, I believe it was four dollars, free shipping. Uh, I mean, you can't beat that. So, all right, that's this little bitty wire. And then you'll need some wick. Some people use the the cotton wick, the organic cotton, but I've tried that and I don't know. It gives me too much of a like a. To me, it's like almost like a cigarette smoke flavor. Even though I wet the wick, it seems to be burning it. So I use the silica wick and this stuff, you can't burn this stuff. Okay. So, oh yeah. And you'll need a lighter. And if you're an ex-smoker like me, you'll have one laying around unless you throw them out when you quit. And you know, you won't need, I mean, a lot of people go overboard with it. In my opinion, that's just an opinion. You can do whatever you want to do. It's your life. I mean, it's your stuff. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, but you don't need these big torches. I mean, these like chef's torches and stuff like that. You don't really need to go overboard with it like that. This is all it needs. All you gotta do is just, I've already done this one, but I'll do it again just to show you. Um, all you gotta do is heat the wire up. I mean, if you've watched any videos on this before, this, I mean, maybe this is your first one, I don't know. Um, but you just heat it up just enough till it glows. And that doesn't take much. This is more than enough to do it. Um, you'll need the clippers just any old clippers will do make sure they don't smell like feet um, just tweezers I barely use these but they come in handy sometimes this really comes in handy it's a little you know it's my wife's little nail thing you know she uses it like anyway um, this really comes in handy if you don't get your wraps right side by side I mean they don't have to be all crimped up I mean, if you're building a micro coil, I can see how you'll need it all cramped up like that. But for one, you know, for just a Pro Tank like this, you know, Pro Tank 2, and one of these style batteries with the little pass through thing, you know, this one doesn't really have the power. Um, this 1000 mAh battery, it really doesn't have the power to push um, the bigger, you know, more bad coils. The coil I'm building today is going to end up being around 1.8 and I mean it does it does really good so all right let's get started one last little vape before I take it apart and you gotta if you like me you got one of these little beauty rings on here and you gotta take that off to be able to work with your well you really don't have to take that off but I did um, anyway you gotta take this off right in here is where the good stuff is I don't know why mine's been coming apart like that but it has so let me pull this over here put that right there and this thing I just sit right over there with like this we're just gonna wipe this off. All right. I don't believe in wasting much stuff, so just a little bitty piece of tissue will do fine. I don't like using a whole paper towel for something that you don't really need it for, the whole paper towel. Anyway, okay. You got your pliers. You gotta have pliers to this. So, just pull it apart. And it dropped it. You don't wanna drop that, like I just did. And you pull this little grommet up and set that aside right here. Okay. I just pop that off, set it right there. And then you got your your wicks inside here. Mine doesn't look like it was that bad. Ooh, a little too much coffee. See there you go. It ain't that bad. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, don't look like it's going to. No, it's not going to. Anyway. Oh well. 
And then I'll take and just wipe that out a little bit. Wipe it off so it won't be slippery anymore. The liquid really gets it slippery. Okay. Now, like I said, I was just gonna just take and light that up a little bit. You can maybe see it glowing, I doubt it. It's pretty bright in here. And then you don't have to worry about burning yourself because it's gonna you can just turn it right around. And that's all it takes. Just try to straighten it out the best you can. I say straighten it out even though you're about to bend it. Okay. A lot of people, they take it and put it on a nail or something, a screwdriver or a drill bit. I've seen it all so far. Um, I just take and I twist up my wick so it's nice and kind of tight like that. And then I take my wire and just hold it with one finger and start wrapping it. I wish my hands weren't so shaky today. They are nervous. Still new to this YouTube thing, so bear with me. You can do five wraps. If you got a battery like mine, you know, on the Pro Tank 2, then um, normally five or six wraps do great. So I've got six wraps right here. Okay, and you just want to, I mean, you ain't, like I've said before, you ain't really got to, you don't really have to bunch them all up too much. As a matter of fact, I find that if you wrap it loosely, it gets more liquid between the coils, and it just vapes a lot better, it heats it up. And I've also noticed that a lot of people that use this freaking 10 inch piece of wire, you know, you don't need all that. You can use... All I use is maybe a four inch piece of wire to get going, so I have less waste. This stuff, I mean, even though I got it pretty cheap, there really ain't no sense in throwing away, because, I mean, you did pay for it. You're throwing away money if you're throwing away wire. Anything you throw away. I mean, unless it's absolute trash. The dog chewed it up and it ain't worth nothing no more, then throw it away. But on this, every bit of that, 100 feet is useful and I try to waste as little as possible now I'm rambling again sorry about that okay so then just take once you get it all right you just take it and snip it off about probably about right there cuts really easy with them clippers all right. then I'll take it and I slide it down through here. Just like that. Now, to get to the part that most people don't show you, it's this right here. Okay? This little grommet. Now, a lot of us know that it's to do with your liquid that you get a burnt taste. You know, if you've been vaping on the same liquid, especially if it's a thicker liquid, a darker colored liquid it'll have a burnt taste to it after a day or so in the same coil well these rebuild coils I've had a couple people tell me rebuild coils they get a burnt taste pretty quick well this is because this right here see we're using unless you're gonna use unless you're gonna solder non uh, uh, you know like better conductive wire or something that's not going to have so much resistance in it you know uh, unless you're going to solder that on like the it comes from the factory then you're going to have a burnt taste from it i mean just just using just using this cathode wire you're going to have a burnt taste unless you got a you see right here you got a thick end and then you got a 
a thin little flare right here. It's, it's smaller end. That's what goes up inside the coil. And this is right in here is where your coil is going to be, the hot part. Well, this part is to keep it from popping out. Well, this, for what we need, is useless. This little flare right here, that's useless. This is an extra one. I marked it with a black marker so you could see it better. But all you got to do is take it just below the flange right here if I can get it right just below the flange and one little clip and that's well, two little clips three and that's it it doesn't have to be pretty you just cut off that flange and what that does is this part rests inside the metal of the cup this cup right here and that little cup and once it sits inside there that metal, yes, is conductive, but that metal keeps it from heating up as much. So the wire gets hot down to there, but once it touches that, I mean, it's like an eye on your stove. If you look at the eye on your stove, where the pot's sitting, you get that eye up to where it's glowing, where the pot's sitting. Unless it's like super, super hot, where that pot is sitting, it's darker colored. That means the pot is taking away a lot of that heat. So that cup, will take a lot of that heat away from the wire and it won't burn this as often. I, I mean, it will burn it if you run it dry. I mean, if you're vaping on your tank and you ain't got no fluid in it, of course, you're gonna have a burnt taste, um, regardless of what you do. Well, that's on you, it's not your coil. So, I'm just gonna go back with the one. See, that's a, a thicker, thicker flange out of another coil that I've got for a different type. Um, just to, just to show on camera better. Okay, and get to the point and put mine back together and show you what it does. All you gotta do is just pull this to the bottom of the cup, grab it like that. I always like to leave the short end out. I mean, it does make it easier. I watched that in another guy's video. You just take it and you pop that down in there. It makes it really a lot easier if you cut that flange off too, to poke it down in there like that. You figure out which one of your wires go where. Well. That one's your. That one. And fold that one over. And I go ahead and. I go ahead and fold that one over too. And keep it like that. You see, you got coils all the way at the bottom. I don't know how good that's focusing. Probably not at all. Alright, and before you put it all back together, just make sure you give it a good little poke around. Straighten them out really good. Okay. All right. Just make sure you. I mean, you can get them right down tight in there if you want. The better. I mean, the tighter the better in there. And then you poke that in there. And once you got that there, you take your clippers. And then you clip that off as close as you possibly can. You don't want these wires touching anywhere in there. Oh, my hands are shaking. I'm not an alcoholic. I've just had coffee. Alright. Another thing, great thing about Pro Tank is you got this little thing right here. Works as a great stand. Like that. For when you're clipping it off. But that, that ain't what I want right now. I'll clip this off. I clip it right with the edge of the this flange right here. This right here. This ripple. Whatever you call it. Let's clip it off right with it. Clip that off, and you see I got a little bitty piece right there left over. That's for just a second from now. Alright. And you pop this in here. See, I didn't need to take that beauty ring off of there after all. That was stupid of me. Oh well. Just spin that on there. And I'll turn this light off so I'll show you. Now this ain't this is the one that I just built and you'll see ooh, right off the bat ooh. I must have had a little liquid on my hand and I got a good glow going on and even right now even right now you don't smell I don't smell any burnt smell at all just because that flange has been cut off. 
if I hadn't I cut that flange off, I would smell a burnt smell, but this one is a good one. So you just see. All right, we got a good coil. You don't need all kinds of fancy gadgets and everything just to, to test your coil out. All you need is your battery. And if you did hook it up wrong, if you got it wrong, it only the only thing it will do is turn your battery off. I've had it happen. That's it. That's all it does is just turn your battery off. And to turn it back on, you just turn it back on. And sometimes you have to, if you if it won't just turn back on, you can plug it back into your charger and wait a second. Then, after you unplug it, you just take and press your power button. Anyway, this little piece I had left over, see how it done got swole up right there? That's kind of fat. That's a good thing. Especially with a pro tank. If you've got a pro tank, I've noticed that they like to whistle and I can't stand it. It drives me nuts. Okay, just get it even and then you just take it and you just poke it down in there like that. Just a little. You don't want to put much pressure on that. People say leave those out. Well, if you leave that wick out right there, it's going to leak. So I'll put it in. And that's the same thickness as the other, you know, the regular wire. I think it's um, uh, three, number three wire. I mean, not wire, but wick. Something like that. Anyway, let's pop that back down on there. Just like that. And then see, I cut it off just about right. And all I got to do is a little slight little trimming right here. There. And just right there. I don't know, I'm kind of a perfectionist. I like to be just perfect. I'll just slide that down on there like that. Ta-da! Fresh new coil. Alright. Screw this in here. Alright. Now I'm gonna fill I'm gonna fill this up with vape and I'll be right back with you. Well, not fill it with vape, that's stupid. Fill it with e-liquid. Okay, let's give it a test run. Now, I haven't vaped off of it yet. This is just, just filled it up and just put the coil back together and everything. So, here we go. Not too bad. Like I said, that's about 1.8 um, uh, That's what I was going to say. Anyway, if you want to get rid of that burnt taste, I mean, unless you're vaping it dry, you're going to get, I mean, if you're vaping it dry, you're going to get a burnt taste. That's because you're burning the silicone. Um, but other than that, I mean, you, you take that, take that little flange off of there, you're good to go. All right, see you next time. Subscribe if you like.